Hello and welcome, my connoisseurs of movies, TV shows, and literature. Are you ready to shake things up? For all my new viewers, welcome. Are you ready to feast on my opinions of all things movie, TV, and book? You may call me Luke Garu. And there's a darkness within. Now, I've said it before on this channel. I like thrilling stories. I like thrilling movies. A movie that has ghosts that are not evil, but messengers of despair and warning. A house sinking because its foundation has its foundations have been knocked out from under it, literally as well as figuratively, into that desolate, isolated house of memory, damp and dark. An older sister keeps her younger brother in a world of lies and horror that he has only the vague idea is actually wrong and unhealthy. Sound familiar? Maybe? Maybe not? <laughs> Crimson Peak is the movie in question here. Yes, this is not a movie. This is the official movie novelization of Crimson Peak starring Maya Wasikowski, Jessica Chastain, Tom Hiddleston, Charlie Hunan, and Jim Beaver. I watched this because of Loki. And uh Bobby. And if you don't know who Bobby is, you haven't seen Supernatural. Now, Lucille Sharp loves her little brother Thomas so much that she murdered their parents to keep him all to herself. She taught Thomas how to pleasure a partner, though not any partner, her. If you missed that in the movie by their little makeout scene, she all but spells it out for you in, in the novelization. Her plan had a hitch, though. You see, after she murdered Mommy Dearest, when Mommy Dearest walked in, in on her attacking her baby brother because that's literally what was happening to poor Thomas she was the monster she was the one assaulting him because there's a good three four year age difference between them she knew what she was doing he did not Naughty big sister. Well, mommy ran away and hid. And basically, Lucille bided her time and waited for mommy to do her nightly routine of get a bath. And she murdered mommy in the bath. Because mommy accused them both of being monstrous. Now, it would have been fine for Lucille's plan. Had the authorities and the rest of the servants not stepped in and shipped Thomas to boarding school and Lucille to a mental hospital. Where she only grew more into the dark and twisted character that still only wanted Thomas's love. Thomas, on the other hand, clung to Lucille until he fell in love, truly fell in love with Miss Edith. She was a New York heiress and Lucille wanted nothing to do with her. You see, Lucille saw Edith as a threat to her claim on Thomas, 
and wanted Thomas to marry wealthy daughter Eunice McMichael, sister to Edith's childhood friend, Alan. Thomas didn't want Eunice because she was like every other woman Lucille threw at him to get their money. Now, what the book conveys a little better than the movie is the undercurrent of the crumbling sharp home and how it implies that Lucille couldn't help but be corrupted because there was something dark lurking in the very air they breathed. This line directly from page 312 says it all. The watcher moaned, exhaling its poison into the heart and mind of the last of the sharps. For the brother was a sharp no longer. He had renounced his name, his legacy, and his curse. So the house reserved its love for the The murderess, the one who would serve and love evil for the rest of her days. You want to live in a house like that? Allerdale Hall? I think what that's what they call it. Basically Crimson Peak. Uh, makes Rose Red look tame. It does. Because Rose Red had a purpose. Crimson Peak? Uh-uh. There was no rhyme or reason for Crimson Peak except for I'm going to slaughter the family that literally dug my foundation out from under me so I fell into the ground. This series, no, this book, and the movie has just the right amount of action and drama mixed with the undercurrent of dark and foreboding and the are they or aren't they that I can watch or read frequently. Though not when my children are around. They do not need to see how far Lucille will go to be loved by her brother. Um, for those of you who have not seen this, massive spoilers, Lucille got pregnant by Thomas. The baby was born with defects and wife number, Thomas's wife number two tried to keep it alive, but it was so defective that it died. So that is how much Lucille loves Thomas. Oh no. Okay, keep going. <laughs> um that's not something I want my kids to see. They they do not see just how much Lucille loves Thomas. And again, Lucille was the predator. Lucille was the attacker and she groomed Thomas from a young age that she was all he needed for everything so that when he fell in love with Edith it devastated Lucille have you seen Crimson Peak will you see Crimson Peak? Have you read the novelization? Will you read the novelization to see what undercurrent was missed when they did the filming? Will you watch the movie because you've read the book? Let me know in the comments. Kindness is the key to understanding, so be kind to me, be kind to each other in the comments, 
rescue the like button from zombies, tend to the subscribe button's injuries from whatever overuse it may have obtained over the week, smack the bell icon so you can escape from the horde, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!